So you're on your device and you open up DevSquid and you now see this. So what's happened? Has the application been hacked? Has somebody else taken over? What's going on? Well, I can tell you guys, the developer of this application reached out to me to let me know that he's been having some challenges with this application where he's found that online people have been downloading his application, modifying the code, basically changing the package name, changing the application name, and then selling this as another application. I think he saw DevSquid Pro was on sale on some forum. So as you can imagine, if somebody makes an application, they give it away free to everybody across all of the stores. It's available on Amazon. It's available on the Google Play Store. Then for somebody to modify that and then sell it is just not right. And it's not fair, guys. I mean, imagine all of your work. Somebody's just stealing your work, repackaging it, rebranding it, and then making money from it. So the dev has been discussing with me on the best way he can take his application forward, but at the same time, keep it secure, make sure nobody can tamper with it, and most importantly, ensure that the application stays free for everybody for life. Well, this is the option he's come up with, whereby for you to use the application, you just have to enter in an unlock code. And the good thing is you only have to enter in the unlock code once and the application is unlocked for life. And the even better thing is you can use the same code for up to 10 devices. And even better than that, the code is absolutely free. That way you never have to pay for this application. The dev can keep the application secure and all of us can continue using this great application across all of our devices. Now to get the code, as you can see here, you just go to that address and I will leave a link in the pinned comment and the description. I can now browse to that address from my PC, from my phone. We can see on the page, we get the option to download the application, but more importantly, I can now request a code. So I can now click on that. It just asks you for an email address where it's going to send the code to. I can now type in my email address, click on subscribe, which means you are going to subscribe to the newsletter, but this is how you'll get the pin directly from them. So click on subscribe. So thank you for subscribing. Wait a few seconds. And if I now check my inbox and in a couple of seconds, I now get the welcome email confirming that this is now going to unlock my DevSquid application for life and scrolling down. Here is my new activation code, which again, you can use on up to 10 devices, phones, tablets, Fire Sticks, Nvidia Shields, Android TVs, 10 devices you can activate with the same code. And further down, we've got some install guides. So if you're not sure how to install DevSquid, whether you're using a Fire Stick, I can click on this link here. I get now taken to their blog, where I can now see a really nice written guide, giving me the exact step-by-step -step instructions on how I can install this application on my devices. But what I'm interested in is getting this code. Okay, so let me now type this code in. So B6UVAJD8. I can now click here, type in B6. Let's see if I get it right first time. UVAJD8, click on OK. And there we have it guys. So the application is now fully unlocked. I can now access all of the features. And again, the application is unlocked for life. So it's not gonna nag me anymore. I can now go through all of these features, check the virus scan, check my device. And the dev did mention to me that the latest version of this application now even checks for tracking log files and tracking cookies. So certain applications, they purposely leave tracking data because they want to see how long you use the application for. If it's a streaming application, they want to keep a log of what you watched, how long you watched for, how long you kept the application open. All of that data is written in log files, which is then used by ad companies and ad networks to give you more focused adverts. But with the latest version of DevSquid, it actually looks out for these tracking log files and clears all of them. So tracking log files, tracking cookies, and of course the normal antivirus and malware protection, all of that is baked into this latest version. And once you unlock it, you're pretty much set for life. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I know lots of you may be wondering why the application is locked out, what caused the change, has something gone wrong? But I'm hoping that after watching my video, you can understand why the dev has done this. He wants to protect his work, his application, make sure that nobody can tamper with it, nobody can change the code or sell his application. And having this new pin code means that the dev can keep the application free 
but at the same time protect his work. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video because I know this is a very popular application and many people will be wondering what happened to Dev Squid. So do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.